good morning tubers um, it's first weekend in May and um, 2016 I am working on uh, my aquaponic system and let me tell you what happened I had the pump from the reservoir pumping with a sump directly up and into the tank with the fish and what was happening there was so much pressure and um, I guess it was rattling the fish it's kind of like those carp that jump out of the water when the boats boat engines go by uh, those fish were just jumping out and, and dying at night and it was pretty sad I lost about eight or ten nice trop, uh, tilapia out of there but anyway uh, I'm working on a system now to I've taken my uh, swirl tank out for now that's where the swirl tank the swirl filter is but I'm going to build a st structure to hold a big tank that guy up above it and I uh, plan to there's the structure I'm building I'm gonna sit it on top of the structure and the reservoir pump will pump into here and plus it'll give me some extra hype for my gravity feed to my beds and I'll feed the beds with that and also have an overflow from that drain in back into the tank so um, it should eliminate some of the pressure and the noise and the sump will kick off when this fills up and it can draw it drain out as slowly as it needs to and then the sump won't have to run as often either so that's my plans uh, I'll show you what it looks like as I go along. I've got this thing where it's working really quite nicely now. You see I've got my reservoir pumping up to a elevated holding tank which I can regulate the flow into the um, fish tank with with that with a valve. Let me show you that. I'm sorry, I know you guys have been asking about my aquaponics system, but there were so many bugs in it. Trust me, um, when you go to do this thing, do your research. I did a lot of research and I still couldn't get it right. But anyway, I think I do now. Uh, so I've got my um, valve set at exactly the right flow so that when it, as it comes out and it pumps up, it won't overfill it up here. If it does, I have a overflow valve that'll bring it back to the reservoir, but it's, it's flowing just perfectly. I also have an overflow valve here that I have set um, to keep the water level where it's at. And the uh, return comes down out of the fish tank, just like it did before. I've, I haven't changed that much. Uh, out and into a swirl filter. Let me show you that. You see this tank comes down and that arm bends I don't know if you can see that through the green water but that's what I'm growing tilapia in is green water the place where I bought the tilapia from was called green water fish farms but anyway it swirls and all the uh, sediment and solids go to the bottom and the clean water comes out through this uh, over, overflow here it's not really an overflow but whatever you call it and it comes out and back into the reservoir so that's where I'm at now uh, I am building some support because the deck is going to go on top of this and I'll be able to feed the fish and everything from that and then I'll have a deck on the other side as well and uh, until my fish house is built out here this is the fish's home I'll show you what this looks like when I'm done oh and you can see the first of my aquaponics grow beds right behind all this those down there are hydro I will connect them eventually and change them all over to aquaponics come on man this is my son David everybody say hi David hi. he helped me 
He just said something that was really funny. He's talking about my finally got my water feature. Anyway, that's what it looks like. The deck's on the side. I'll build some steps around it, trim that plastic off, put some plastic in here. I got to put a valve um, uh, overflow here. It'll flow into that. All right, tubers. I've lined the um, first aquaponics bed, and now I'm going to use a one and a half inch hole saw bit. Put a hole in the bottom for the three quarter inch bulkhead that I'm going to use to uh, drain this table and run it straight into the reservoir. Put a little silicone around the uh, fitting between the plastic and the between the plastic and the plywood, and put that bulkhead head down, tighten it up real tight, and now I get a couple other fittings to put in here. I'm just going to start filling it up, see if it's leaking. They're a little shy.
God bless. Go get you some tilapia and make you an aquaponic system. We'll see you next time. Say bye, David. Bye. Oh, I did want to. I'm gonna throw out a shout out. I've been promising this lady, um, Jackie from Silver Moon Acres. Um, she's got a great channel. It's got like she almost has like 300 videos, but she has less than 100 subscribers. Good stuff. Cute family. Um, that's a homesteaders-ish kind of uh, channel. So. Y'all go out there and check her out. We'll see you next time.